Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, today I am cooking. We're going to start calling these little cooking se segments Cooking with Kimmy. So today I am making ground turkey with my veggie spirals. And I'm using this instead of spaghetti. Have you ever used these before? Before I get into that though, if you don't know who I am, I'm Kimmy. And this is Healthy Life with Kimmy. And I discuss my healthy life journey. I am in the process of trying to lose weight. Make sure my blood pressure is stable, my blood sugar is stable, and just overall become a healthier person. So for me, that includes working out, and now I'm actually cooking. Not my favorite thing in the world to do, but I got to do it, because if not, I'm going to eat out. So I'm glad you decided to join me today, and again, I'm going to be making ground turkey like a spaghetti. This is my, sp my turkey I'm using from all these. Got my turkey, my spirals. Let me show you some of my seasonings I'm gonna be using today. And how about I just take the phone over here really quick. So for my um, seasonings, I am using, uh, I have a bell pepper, onion, bell pepper, onion. I put a little chives in it, just because my friend always put chives in everything. I have oregano, olive oil, Italian seasoning. Cause you know with turkey, it take a lot. And smoked paprika. Have you guys ever used smoked paprika? I learned about that from a cooking channel and my goodness I love smoked paprika I have some spaghetti sauce out the jar onion powder and we just gonna get started so I'll talk to you all while I cook still working on that camera stuff so I got my knife we're gonna start cutting up some um, bell pepper Let's see can I make it so you can see me so we're gonna start cutting up the bell pepper but I'm trying to cook more because it's just healthier for me overall <laughs> overall now <clears throat> don't judge me on this bell pepper y'all because it is old i was supposed to do this segment <laughs> um let me put the camera on me i was supposed to do this segment uh last week but i didn't get a chance to so let my bell pepper go to waste i kept looking at it and i said should i get a new one i'm sure that's happened to all of you it didn't happen just the way you wanted it to so let me show you again just cutting the bell pepper uh oh camera there we go i'll move that out the way so i'm just chopping up my bell pepper now do you like your bell pepper chopped fine or kind of chunky some people like their spaghetti and that's what we're going to call it um, spaghetti. Some people like theirs chunky. I like mine kind of in between. Some people don't even like bell pepper in their spaghetti. That's how I grew up with it. And I put bell pepper. They actually got a little fancy name they call this when they be using spirals and stuff instead of spaghetti, I think. Um, like a little spinoff. If I find it, I'll put it somewhere. But I just hopped on and started cooking this real life i didn't prepare a script so just watch me so i'm cutting this up and um the reason i'm using these spirals today is because sometimes me and pasta just don't get along we do not so my friend actually turned me on to these and she made it one day it was really good so this is zucchini spirals they also come in squash i believe like spaghetti squash and i bought this at Publix. I want to say it was four dollars. Now a box of spaghetti only cost a dollar. This was almost four dollars. So eating healthy is not cheap. Now what I'm going to do is invest in me one of those spiraler thingies so I can actually um, spiral my own zucchini and that way I don't have to buy it. But sometimes for convenience sake I don't mind spending it because I'll spend five dollars at McDonald's and I don't even think about it, right? So, so what if I spend five on some veggie spirals? Now, regular pasta for me sometimes it um it messes with my stomach. Do any of you have that problem? It caused me to be bloated. Um, I love pasta, not a huge 
saying where I have to have it, but I love me some lasagna or whatever. Um, let me show you my bell pepper. So I'm still just chopping that up. I'm gonna do some onion. But sometimes me and pasta, it leaves me feeling bloated and I just don't feel well after I, after I eat it. So this is my onion. So I'll add it with the bell pepper. Yeah, I don't feel well. Again, with the onion, do you like it chopped kind of small, kind of fine? How do you do your onion? I usually just kind of chop everything the same, really. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to, if you didn't see my previous video, we're going to layer our flavors. So we're going to season these veggies once they're in the pan. We're not going to wait and just season the meat. We're going to layer our seasonings. So I'm still cutting the onion. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it. Do you like onion? I 50 50 on the onion. I love onion. I could put it in everything. Everything. Okay. So let's do that. So we got our onion together and our bell pepper. And we're gonna work our way over here to the stove let's go together okay guys so now i'm about to put the veggies in the um in the pan because i like to cook the um veggies so they can be soft do you like yours crunchy or soft i mean everybody got their preference let me get the veggies i'm gonna put a little oil in the pan put a little oil in the pan that's olive oil and I'm gonna have to close this window because it's a little windy out today in Georgia. And I use my minced garlic. You guys know I love this minced garlic. Let me see, can I push that up just a wee bit? So I love the minced garlic. Let me grab a spoon. So I'm gonna let that cook with my oil. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. And that'll get kind of hot. Whatever you can do to flavor turkey, because turkey is a beast. <laughs> um, I love, we like the Aldi's brand. I mentioned this before because the the Walmart brand to my husband tastes like he likes to call it barnyard. And um, it's, to him, it tastes like somebody actually just went out there and got the turkey <laughs> and cut it right that minute and started cooking it. That's how it tastes to him. So everybody taste buds are different. So I kind of agree with him though. I don't really like it either. Now the Aldi brand is good. So we're going to go ahead and that's cooking. And we're going to go ahead and add our veggies. I got my veggies all chopped up. That's my onion and bell pepper. So I'm going to just put that in the pan. Okay. While we're waiting on that to cook a little bit, I'm going to talk about the, let that cook a few minutes. And I'll come back to it and season it. Because remember, I want to season it. Now would be a good time to season. Let's do that. So we got our garlic powder. And we're layering our flavors. Don't forget. We're layering our flavors. And then, um, I love the smoked paprika. Let me show you that again. I need to buy some more. I'm going to order tonight. Smoke. You can't really taste the difference to me. This is oregano. Since we're making Italian. Put that in there. And I got some onion powder. I'm going to cut this down because we're going to talk for a minute. Onion powder. Okay. Now this is a Walmart brand. But we had that conversation and I don't, many of you didn't respond, but do you find that the store brand and the um, name brand taste the same? Let me know. And this is chives. Don't ask why I'm throwing it in there, but I got a friend that put chives in everything. So I kind of just started doing it too. I like stuff on the spicy side. So I'm going to add some crushed red peppers. Do you like crushed red peppers? Spicy. Let me know. 
so I'm going to add some crushed red peppers. That was kind of a lot. <laughs> ah, but anyway, so while this is cooking a little bit, again, I want it a little soft. I don't want to be crunching on no onion in my fake spaghetti. Uh-oh, I'm getting onion everywhere. If, for those of you who do not know, I am not a master chef by any means, but I'm trying to learn. Let me show you my pan. Looks delish, right? Yep. So those are my little veggies cooking. So while I wait on that, we're going to have a little conversation. Hold on. So back to the spirals. Hold on. Let me fix my camera. All right. Back to the spirals. So these are, oh, I did the points on Weight Watchers. I forgot what I said. I think it's zero because it's a, it's a veggie. So zero, I do need to count the meat. I was corrected by my last video. I didn't know that I'm new to Weight Watchers. And I didn't know that you're not supposed, that you have to count the, the ground turkey. So I hope none of y'all gained weight last week. <laughs> Cause I didn't know ground turkey, actually if it's not 100% lean or whatever, it has like four or five points. And I didn't count that. Now, I don't think that's why I had gained weight last week. Point, point six or whatever. Yeah, that's not why. That's not why. So now my meat, my veggies have cooked a little bit. And we're going to go back over here. So back to the, the spirals really quick though. It's 100% zucchini. Already cut, cut up. 15 calories. Zero on Weight Watchers. And it has a recipe. I told you it was a name to it. So it's called the Spaghetti. The spaghetti instead of spaghetti, the spaghetti because this was zucchini. So I'm going to go ahead and put my meat over here in the pan. I'm going to put the meat as far as cooking this um, veggie spaghetti. Let me look at the instructions right quick while that meat the meat can sit there for a minute. Let me show y'all this little doohickey my husband gave me the other day. He bought it for himself, but when it comes to chopping meat, oh, it's amazing. This little thing, you may already have one. So let me show you how it works. I'm really right-handed, but you just take it in there. Cause I like my meat kind of chopped up. I don't like it like balls. I like it kind of chopped, kind of fine. So you can use this and I'll keep doing that while we keep talking. Okay, so um, as far as preparing this, I read online, I did my own homework, but there have been people that try to put it in a microwave and kind of steam it. That's not recommended because everybody has steamed it. Now, if you're a pro at steaming it, let me know what they said when they steamed it. Sorry, they didn't like it, but every person that actually cooked it liked it. So I'm going to show you how to prepare it. So I'm going to um, actually do mine stove top, which is recommended according to the bag also. So if you want to microwave it, place the unopened bag in the microwave for six to seven minutes. Okay. Now, if you want to cook it in a pan, it says put the contents in a preheated non-stick skillet and cover it with a lid and high heat and steam it for 10 to 11 minutes and drain the excess water so it makes its own water sounds like i don't need to add anything else so once i cook the meat then i'm going to use this same pan and come back i need to cut this up because it's not cooking fast enough i need this meat to cook let me show you how it look right now so that meat it's not cooking fast enough because i was still just cooking on low with the veggies but, um, yeah, I don't usually cook in the kitchen with a flour in my head. I just have it on because I just finished working. I work from home. And, well, I work from home and I actually go out. I'm a notary by trade. For those of you who don't know what that is, they go out, a notary stamps papers, basically, to help people get documents executed so they can buy houses, do wills, power of attorney, stuff like that. So, oh, this lid is cracked. 
I'm gonna have to do something about that. So anyway, this was my um, garlic powder. And I'm gonna season this. I'm gonna put it up here because I'm gonna have to do, the lid is cracked. So now I'm layering my seasons by cooking my seasoning my meat. Remember, we layer our seasons. So we season the veggies, and now we're seasoning the veggies and the meat together. Okay. And it's ground turkey, so we're working a little bit harder. I will be coming to you with some chicken chicken recipes because a friend of mine told you I got a lot of friends. And they've been sending me re recipes since I've been doing Weight Watchers. But she's been cooking with ground chicken. And she loves it. So I'm going to try it too. And I also have some oregano. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So we're going to put some oregano in there. And that meat is seasoned. Let me show y'all. Look at all that. Yes. That is seasoned, right? So let me put this in the sink. So while I wait on that, okay. So I'm waiting on my meat to cook. Once the meat is done cooking, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna cook the spirals together, okay? The veggie spirals. So I'll be back in a second. We're gonna fast for it. And when I come back, the meat will be done. We'll focus on the spirals and putting the whole rest of it together. Um, what I like to do is put my sauce on top of the meat. Now, let me tell y'all something I do really quick. I know I said I was going to come back in a minute. But I always put too much sauce. Do you put too much sauce when you're cooking? I put too much sauce. I always do. I always do. So, I'm not going to do that today though. I'm going to use less sauce. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I come back. So, I'm going to let the meat cook, put the sauce on top, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back, guys. I wanted to show you what my meat sauce looks like. That's my meat sauce. I probably put too much sauce, as I told y'all earlier. I always do. So, now we're going to focus on veggie spirals. So okay, so now we're going to focus on the veggie spirals that we're using as for our pasta today. So we're making a substitute. We are making a substitute. I wanted to stir my little meat sauce. So do you all like your meat sauce together? Like if you're doing meatballs or does it depend on how you're making your pasta? If you like it all mixed together. So we're gonna cut the bag open and follow the instructions. So let me show you what it looks like. It's frozen zucchini. Frozen. It looks really good on a bag. Let's see how thin it is. What is the texture? It's kind of thin. Look at that. So it's so much water in here because it's frozen. You don't have to do anything. Let me show you in the skillet. That might be a better picture. Hold on. Have you ever cooked with these little thingies? So we're gonna follow the instructions and let it steam. Oh, let me let you look at it first, hold on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the actual noodles in the pan. Let's see. So it looks like just a glob of frozen something or another. <laughs> huh? So anyway, let's see how this cooks. I'm gonna steam it according to the instructions. So I said just put it on low and steam it. Let me show you. All right, so we're gonna let it steam. And then let's see what happens. Put the camera here like that. So, I think I'm going to break it up. Let me read the instructions. I don't like to read instructions. So, it says, place contents of bag in a preheated skillet. Cover, yeah, stirring occasionally. So, let's, let's go ahead and stir it. So, I'm going to start. And I'm going to use the same spatula. It's going in the spaghetti. Oh, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. We definitely gonna have to drain it because it makes a lot of water. I'm about to show you. Hold on. We definitely are gonna have to drain it. And my friend that made it from scratch, like doing her own zucchini, that might be the way to go. I don't know. 
Hold on. Let me let you see it as it's coming apart. I, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to be positive. So that's what it's looking like. It don't look bad. Then we're going to put the meat sauce on top. So, looks a little watery. Oh, it's supposed to be covered. I got sidetracked. <laughs> All right. Back in a moment, once it's cooked, and I'm going to put the whole thing together and tell you about the texture. I'm going to go ahead and drain it, too. So, the instructions were to drain it. So, I'm going to do all of that before I come back, and I'm going to show you the finished product. Today, I'm making the spaghetti. Spaghetti. The spaghetti. With a Z. Because I'm using zucchini veggie spirals. All right. Give me a minute. I'll be back. I wanted you to see how much water comes off of this because remember it's a frozen product. So you see all that water? If you add that to your regular meat sauce, it's not gonna taste good. So it says make sure you drain it properly. It has to be drained. And you wanna make sure it cooks the 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna cover it back. Um, cover it again rather. You wanna make sure it cooks the 10 to 12 minutes because if it doesn't, then it's gonna be soggy. Or cold you know you don't want nobody want to eat cold spaghetti I don't care what form it is the light wasn't good so no one wants to eat cold spaghetti so I don't know if this is a go or a bust yet <laughs> as you guys know I am learning how to cook so if y'all can help me make this process a little bit smoother it would be good but I think I did pretty good today I'm just not feeling the way the zucchini looks uh, again when my friend did it from scratch it was a little more solid so I'm gonna drain it really good and then I'm gonna put it all together and show you the finished product so I took you step by step um, again I'm just trying to find things alternatives to products and uh, meals that I like but to make it healthier so all I have to do is try y'all. If you cooked this before and you just loved it, drop it in the comments. I wanted to show you how much this cooked up to be. Now it looks like a, well you see the whole pan, right? That's only enough for looks like maybe two people. I mean, let me just see, hold on. So let's see, if that's a serving, that's a serving. That's enough for two people for $4 and you can get a regular box of and so I'm not going to even mix all that meat over there because it's going to be too much. So let me make the plate. I'm going to get the plate and I'm going to put it together. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you. Completely. I always will be. I'm looking at this plate. That don't look that appetizing to me. It does not. However, let's, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. So now we have our pasta or zucchini. And it smells like it. Uh oh. So now we have our pasta or zucchini, and it smells like it when you're cooking it. it. Smells like a vegetable boiling, which that's what it was. And I put the meat sauce on top. That looks a little bit better. Would you eat that? Now don't tell me, y'all, because I don't want to know. But I'm going to sit down and we're going to taste it. <sighs> I left a couple dollars on the table, but we're going to taste it. So hold on one second. All right, y'all. So now I'm gonna actually taste it. So let's see how it tastes. Um, I normally would sit at the table, but the light was terrible. So let's see. Mm -mm. Ah. It tastes like, it doesn't taste like pasta. It doesn't taste like pasta. It doesn't. Let me see. Mm -mm. Mm. So if I had a choice between what I just did today with a zucchini and a substitute, I would do um, eggplant. I love eggplant. So honestly, let me try again. bad 
don't think I'll be cooking this one again, guys. I won't. I won't be cooking this one again. I won't because it's too wet for me. It's too wet. I don't want my pasta tasting wet. I, it, it might be the cook, but I'm not feeling it. Mm -mm. So that was my cooking um, spaghetti. This is a spaghetti with a Z. I ain't making that no more. So as I go along this journey, it's going to be real talk. So like I said, I would not make this again. Now my turkey burgers, yep. I would do that again. But I would not make this again. And again, it could be me. So if you try it, let me know what your results were. But I'm going to put this one as a for the books. Not feeling it. I'd rather have real a little bit of real spaghetti or carb, lower carb spaghetti. That's my next thing I'm going to try is a lower carb. Because I was telling my friends about my issue with the pasta. Feeling so bloated. And it was like, they said, try a lower carb. So I'm going to try that. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that another day. Um, but as far as me and the veggie spirals, mm -mm, not no more. So until next time, guys, again, this is Real Talk. Click, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Um, for me and veggie spirals, it's a no-go. All right. I got to find another alternative. Until next time, this is Healthy Life with Kimmy.